Hello, everybody. It is Dr. Tellis. I will be filling in for Dr. Mercado again today as he is on another skeletal expedition, this time in the Kalahari Desert. Now, he tells me that you are learning about the shoulder. And although the shoulder is not my favorite skeletal structure to ever explore, it is still scientifically relevant. So, let's get started. The scapula has three borders. The medial border, the lateral border, and the superior border. To go along with the borders, it has two angles. The inferior angle and the superior angle. It also has two sides. The posterior side and the anterior side. Now, the scapula has attached to it two bones. The humerus bone and the clavicle bone. Now, the humerus is a long bone that is commonly dislocated. It doesn't have a lot of support, so it needs many muscles to prevent dislocation. The clavicle is a weird shaped bone that looks like an S. It also has an attachment to the sternum. It is also a bone that is commonly fractured. Now that concludes my shoulder review. See you next time. Bye-bye.